Hey hi hello namaste welcome to CR and Titanus this is Chetan and this is the new series of 3D modeling in this series we will learn the form language so that's why we will tackle industrial designs we will create a different designs and we will try to understand the form language so if you are new on this youtube channel then don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and you can follow us on instagram where we upload the post related to the cgr project file is available free of cost on our gumroad store you can use it for the learning purpose link is in the description and you can watch our previous blender tutorials so you will get a lot of knowledge and now let's get started to make the design we need to add a plane so shift a and then add a plane and then go to the edit board and then scale it along the x axis first we will create the 2d block out and then we will convert it to the 3d so just add a loop cut and select these words and scale them along the y axis and now select these faces and use the insert operation so here you need to use the knife tool after using the insert operation so select the first point select the second point and then press enter to complete that operation and then connect words like this same thing you need to do here also okay after that select these faces and delete only faces and then delete that edge also and then press f to fill the gap you need to create that topology there so you need to select this face and then move it along the z axis okay you can see i have dissolved that edge and just i have taken this and then select outer edge and e to extrude it and move it along the z axis then go to the side view or front view and then just adjust the position of the words and now that's look good then add a loop cuts And now we will add the letters to deform that form. So just add the letters and adjust the scale of the letters in object mode according to the scale of the object. So you need to scale it along the x and y and z axis and adjust the scale of the letters. It should be little bit bigger than that object. And then increase the resolution of the letters. then shift d to duplicate it and create a backup then select that object and add a lattice modifier and select that lattice in the lattice modifier now you can select both things and then move it along the z axis and now you need to go to the edit mode of the lattice and you need to create the curve form at there you need to deform that ladder so we can create a design and form on that object so you can see i have created that curve form and then you can apply that lattice modifier and delete that lattice then go to the edit mode of the object and then move it along the z axis and just create a design create the right form at there so that's why you need to tweak the words and then add a loop cuts and give the right position to the words and loop cuts so you can maintain the good form at there and now that's look good then select this edge so just deselect this front edges and then only select these edges and e to extrude them and then scale them a little bit and move them along the z axis and create a little bit of taper shape at there then select these edges and then same thing e to extrude them and then scale them so just scale it down little bit like this then select the words and merge at the center same thing here also and now that's look good So now you need to select these edges and you need to breach edge loop or you can press F to fill the gap. So just select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. And now you can see here we don't have enough edges. So that's why we need to use the redirection of the edge loops. So add a loop cuts like this, add a loop cuts like this from the both side. You can take the mirror also. then dissolve these edges and add a loop cut at here 
and now select this words right click and then connect vertex path and you need to divert the flow of the edge loops in this way so just select these edges and dissolve them and then double tap G for the edge slide and give the little bit right position to that edge and now you can see we have redirect these edge loops Control X to dissolve these edge loops and now you can select these edges and then press F to fill the gap and now that's look good then add loop cuts on the model which will help us to maintain the form of the model and don't add loop cut too close to each other so we will get little bit of weird sharing just try to maintain the good edge flow on the model shift d to duplicate it and just make a backup and now select this edge loop and then control b to add the bevel on this edge loop and add a small bevel at there and give the right width and then delete these faces then select these faces control plus then hide them just press h so select this edge loop and press f to fill the gap and right select the words right click and then connect vertex path so add the loop cuts right click and then connect vertex path and create a core based topology give the right position to the words with a simple transform of orientation tools like a move tools rotate tool these tools and then select these faces press i for the insert operation and same thing you need to do to the back side also so just select the faces press f to fill the gap and then add a loop cuts and create a chord based topology at there give the right position to the words to maintain the good form select these faces press i for the insert operation just to add one loop at there and now that's look good you can see the form looks like this now we need to select the faces in a very careful way and then move them along the x axis create that taper shape and to feel that they are attached with each other means they are too close to each other just we have created one cut at there So same thing you need to do with the another side also. So just select these faces with the shift select and move them along the x axis. You can press alt h to unhide them and then control x to deselect them. And just move it along the x axis. and then you can give the right position to the words and you can adjust the position of the words to make them too close so we will get a decent look you can see i'm adjusting the position of the words and now that's look good now you need to add the subduing surface modifier and then you need to add necessary loop cuts on the model so add the necessary loop cuts then shear smooth it and you can see that's look good or decent just add one loop cut here one loop cut here and that's fine and you can see from the different views the design looks like this and we have created the decent form here and you can see from the inside also that cut we have created 
and you can see its topology the edge flow which we have created there to maintain the good form and to maintain that curvness on the model you can see from the mat cap also we got the decent look on the model just i forgot to add one edge at there you can see i have added the edge loop at only one side and i didn't add it the same kind of edge loop to the another side so just i am adding this loop cut and now you can see that's look good just turn on your sublime surface modifier and this is looking decent so this is the first part of the form language series as we go ahead we will increase the difficulty of the modeling so if you want to understand the form language very well then watch this entire series it will help you a lot to improve your form language your design skill your modeling skill so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care